my name is Kelly Pratt and I'm a solution consultant with Echo Consulting. And today I wanna to share with you one of my absolute favorite features in Airtable. Um, so on my screen here, you can see I have my demo base and this is a base that we've created for managing multiple projects. So you can see I have different tables for different aspects of managing our projects, um, including projects, phases, tasks, and so on. Um, right now I'm on our projects table. And the feature that I wanna show you is actually a pretty simple feature, but it's a really awesome feature to make reporting accessible to any type of user. Sometimes in other project management systems that we use, it may require some more technical knowledge, such as understanding formulas and how to write formulas to capture specific data about your projects. Airtable has a specific field, which is called a count field. And so in my project view, I'm actually capturing key project metrics and KPIs in a really easy, accessible way without having to use formulas. So um, for example, I wanna be able to capture how many tasks in my project are past due and not completed. So I'm gonna call this um, column past due and I'm gonna find my field type. I'm gonna type in count and I'm gonna be looking in the tasks table as a count source. And I am going to only include linked records from the task tables that meet these certain conditions. So I have a condition in here, and this is essentially what allows you to create this counting without having to use a formula. So I'm gonna set up my conditions to meet the criteria of past due. And what that looks like is I'm gonna say where the finish date is before today, right? That's in the past. And I need to add a condition where the status is not complete, right? And then I'm gonna create the field and it's automatically gonna count any tasks that meet those criteria and are linked to these specific projects. So it's also breaking it out based on the projects that the tasks are linked to. So I don't have any past due tasks right now. So let me put in another example to potentially generate some data here. Okay, we now wanna look at how many tasks are due in the next 30 days? Um, you can also scroll to find the field type you're looking for. So I'm gonna select count and I'm gonna put in the tasks table um, to look at a count and I'm gonna select my conditions. So what I'm looking for here is that the finish date is within the next number of days, which is 14. Now I could also add a condition, um, or sorry, not 14, it's 30, I said 30 days. Um, I could also add a condition to filter out tasks that have already been completed if I'm only looking at tasks that haven't been completed due in the next 30 days, but for right now, I'm just looking at tasks that are due in the next 30 days. I'm gonna create that field, and then you can see how some data generates for that client one. Um, that's where I have most of the tasks in here at this point. So again, this is a really, it's kind of, it's a really native feature in Airtable, but it makes it really accessible for users to get quick and easy data from um, their project or other, you know, source tables that you might be using Airtable for. So follow Echo Consulting's YouTube channel for more tips and tricks on Airtable and other work management software. Thank you.